Let's look at this interesting questions. These are the new version of PSLE questions where there may be more than one possible answer. So if you look at this picture here, uh, earlier we have discussed this part, how the water is being formed in site B, and now the experimental setup has been slightly modified. <laughs> the movable divider has been shifted towards the left side. So there are three possible scenarios. Okay, number one, most students, because in the school they are taught, if the exposed surface area is reduced, right, because by shifting the movable divider to the left, the exposed surface area is reduced, and that will reduce the rate of evaporation. Hence, less water will be collected here. So in other words, most students, they will present this answer, decrease. Okay, the reason because of the lesser exposed surface area, for the water to absorb heat resulting in lower rate of evaporation so this is one and the most common way of presenting however if their student is more alert they will notice that if by shifting the movable divider to the left side that will cause the water level to increase slightly because water has what has a definite volume so by shifting the movable divider to the left the water level will naturally rise because water has a definite volume so the water level will rise slightly and that will result in the water level being closer to the high intensity lamp or high intensity spotlight because they are closer the water level is closer that will result in higher rate of evaporation so there are some students they may answer increased because the distance of the spotlight is closer to the surface of water resulting in more heat being absorbed causing higher rate of evaporation so we have, can see there are two possibilities however there is one very minority group of students they can see in a more holistic manner maybe of the 5% of the whole PSLE cohort. Okay, each PSLE cohort is about 39,000 to 40,000 students. So there's this rare 5%, they can see an integration of increase and decrease. So they present this answer to the examiner, they will remain the same. Okay, those who present the remain the same, they must present these two facts. And then they conclude why it remain the same. Because the factors in the increase balance out with the factor in the decrease. Okay, what do I mean? Because you know by shifting the movable divider to the left side, there's less exposed surface area, right? So the rate of evaporation is lower. However, at the same time, the water level is closer to the high intensity spotlight. So that will increase. The rate of evaporation so the increase factor the increase factor and the decrease factor neutralizes neutralizes you know like cancel each other so they come out to the conclusion that it will remain the same so this is a rare five percent of the student who can see that when this happened these two factors neutralizes so this type of questions is very open and I'm very happy that one of my students in 2019, this exact questions came up. I taught her before her prelim and she was from West Spring Primary School and she get this question fully correct, five marks. She's the only student in the whole class to get this question correct. So I'm very happy and I look forward that students in my training can also learn the important skills of analyzing questions, giving a good scientific explanation so that they can be awarded full marks. So I warmly congratulate you to be in my class and look forward to coaching you more. Thank you.